and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. And today I want to show you my April customer thank you card. And I'm using the Million Dollar Moments stamp set. And this is one of the hostess stamp sets from the 2013 Stampin' Up! Spring catalog. And it was just too cute. I just had to use her. I just think she is so stinking cute and just so many things that can come raining down on her and great sayings to go along with them. So let's go ahead and get this card going. I'm going to use two of the Ovals Collection Framelits dies for this card. And normally I would just have gone ahead and die cut all kinds of Whisper White ovals and then stamped on them because it doesn't need to be perfect. But look, I decided to just lay that on there and here's my template and go ahead and do my stamping first. Now of course when it's a perfect fit we do our stamping and then die cut it. But this was just saving me a step in case I didn't do a good job stamping. I didn't have the die cut oval, so like I said, just saving a step. Oh, that turned out so nice. And of course, I want to use the thanks a million because this is my April customer thank you card. And everyone who places their stamp up order with me in April will get this card in their mailbox. Great. And that's what I was concerned about. I thought, you know, it'd be really easy for me to get that crooked. And so now I know I'm all set and I'm ready to go ahead and die cut. So I have my two die cut ovals and she stamped in, and I hadn't told you, Rich Razzleberry. And so I have Rich Razzleberry cardstock to layer that on. And now I want to be able to add some flowers. But I don't want the flowers on her, so what I did is I am doing what we call masking. I stamped that. And then on the back you use some two-way glue. And when you let two-way glue air dry, it becomes like a, a sticky note. And I can peel that off and use it over and over so it's staying in place while I'm doing my stamping. And now I'm going to add some flowers that are raining down. Okay, I think that's plenty of flowers. And look how cool this is when you pull it away. Now the flowers aren't on the umbrella and not on my lady. And so but we've got raining flowers all the way around her. I did a little bit more die cutting for my card. I used this scallop and this is from the Tasteful Trim Stampin' Up! die. This is a big die and when you're doing a lot of cards at one time and you don't have to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator to be able to, to need to do a lot of cards. But what's great about this with the big die, I can cut through several sheets of cardstock at one time and really save on time. And with this being so long I was able to do two out of one, you know, use that 11 inch strip. And so that was two cards, and then when I stacked them, even more. So here we are with my finished April thank you card. And the base of the card is pink pirouette. My flowers were in pink pirouette. The polka dotted paper is from the polka dot parade designer series paper, the rich razzleberry to go with everything else. And then my tasteful trim border just making it oh so coordinated. Oh, and of course our little something something inside. We're raining some more flowers down just so ready for May. And so you'll get this card in your mailbox when you place your April Stamp Up order with me in my online store. But you know who else will get this? My virtual stamp club members. They're going to get this and a lot more. I have a great April class for them, Virtual Stamp Club class. They get exclusive videos. So I'll have a clickable link under the screen. Go check that out. You're going to want to join the Stamping Smiles Virtual Stamp Club and get free online classes in exchange for just placing small stamp up orders with me each month. <laughs> so here we go, the Million Dollar Moment Stamp Set, and I'm Shelly Godby teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.